was once a little boy named Peter. Peter lived in a small cottage near a great forest. He lived with his grandfather. Peter had many friends in the forest. There was Robin Redbreast, Quacky the Duck, and Tommy the Cat. Early one morning, Peter opened the garden gate and walked into the forest to play with his friends. Soon his grandfather came after him. He was angry because Peter had gone into the forest. This is a dangerous place, he said. If a wolf should come along, then what would you do? He took Peter by the hand, led him back to the garden, and closed the gate. Suddenly, a hungry wolf did appear in the forest. In a twinkling, Tommy the cat scampered up a tree. Robin Redbreast flew to a branch above the cat. Quacky the duck quacked and quacked and in her great excitement started to run. But no matter how fast Quacky the duck tried to run, she couldn't escape the wolf. Then with one big gulp, he swallowed her. This is how things stood. Tommy the cat was sitting on a branch up in a tree. Robin Redbreast on another. And the wolf walked round and round the tree, looking at both of them with greedy eyes. what was happening to his little friends and he said to himself there must be a way to capture the wolf as he watched the wolf pacing back and forth Peter thought of a plan he ran into the house and found a strong rope then when the wolf wasn't looking Peter climbed up the tree he made a lasso and carefully let it down. He caught the wolf by the tail and pulled with all his might. Feeling himself caught, the wolf began to jump wildly as he tried to free himself. Peter tied the other end of the rope to the tree, and the wolf's jumping only made the rope tighter around his tail. In fact, the rope was so tight, the wolf cried out. And when his mouth was open, Quacky the duck jumped out and was free once again. That moment, shots were heard. Hunters came out of the forest following the wolf's trail and shooting as they came. Don't shoot, cried Peter. I've already caught the wolf. Now help me take him to the zoo. What a wonderful parade it was. There was Robin Redbreast, Tommy the cat, Quacky the duck,
Peter's grandfather. And the hunters carrying the wolf. And at the head of them all, Peter marched proudly, for he alone had caught the wolf.